Hey man. I realize I have not seen you in a while. It has should be since your baby was born. Have you heard the good news? I'm engaged. Wow, that's awesome dude. I saw pictures of the engagement ring which you texted me five months ago. When are you guys planning on getting hitched? We are planning on New Year's Eve night. That would be a great night for a wedding party. Don't you think? We feel it would be a great night for everybody to get together and celebrate with us. Wow, that is awesome. I'm so happy for you guys. I could not wait to see everyone like the good old days. So I know we are good friends and I thought it would be perfect if you photographed our wedding. Your photography is spectacular and we would love to have you part of our special day. Me? Really? Yes, I have always thought since we are good friends and you do such amazing work that you would photograph my wedding. I have to admit, I have been expecting this conversation since I heard the news. I was really hoping that I could go to my friend's wedding with my wife and no baby on New Year's Eve. This way I could actually enjoy the party instead of running around all day and night with the camera to my face, cameras hanging off my shoulders and taking thousands of photos of my friends and his family having fun. Besides, what am I supposed to charge my friend? Are you looking to spend money? Am I supposed to charge you? I'm feeling awkward. You can drink beer if you would like. I will drink beer either way. You don't have to work that hard. Just take a few photos of us with your camera. My fiancé and I want you to have a good time and not feel like you are working. Okay, I understand that maybe you don't think photography is much of a job. Maybe just a nice hobby of mine. But let me remind you that I am a professional photographer who shoots 25 weddings a year. Not just a friend who owns a fancy camera and likes to take pretty pictures of sunsets. I take what I do very seriously and don't half as what I do. This means I will not have time to hang out with my friends, sit and enjoy good conversations, drink beer, shoot tequila, get drunk, lip sync the song Don't Stop Believing, have a relaxing dinner. What? We would feed you dinner. I said a relaxing dinner. Not stuffing my face in five minutes with whatever the catering company has left for me that is warm and then trying to make it back to your cake cutting on time and not hold up your schedule. Again, I would not be able to catch up with friends who I never get to see. Instead I am chasing you around all night in a dark venue with dark walls and trying to make you look good and interesting. It's a lot of hard work and I hope you understand. I can see your point. However, I am disappointed. Maybe you can think it over? I have already thought it over since I heard your news. I have been praying for the past five months that I would not have this conversation with you. Maybe if I believed in God, praying would have helped. But please don't be disappointed. I don't want something like this to become an issue or a reason that we do not talk a year from now or possibly ruin our friendship. Well, thanks for your time. I have to get going. I will text you later and let you know what my fiancé says. However, I doubt she will want to be your friend after I tell her this bad news.